Hey guys, so I've been uh, lurking on YouTube now for a while, watching all your videos, and I uh, thought I might contribute something today. So uh, this will be my first video. Uh, so I thought I'd start out with a little, something a little bit uh, technology related to the aquarium hobby. And um, so after uh, you know seeing a bunch of people uh, with horror stories about their heater failing and getting stuck on and then basically frying their fish tanks, um, I started looking into some um, uh, solutions about how to uh, prevent that from happening. And uh, I know uh, Planet Aquarium MN uh, bought something uh, off the shelf and that seems to be working well for him. But I um, kind of like to uh, uh, play around with things and, and uh, so I came up with this little DIY project. Uh, so uh, let me uh, pop the top off this guy. But uh, first thing you'll see on the front is a little controller. Um, oh, went out of focus there, sorry about that. Let's see if it'll focus again. There we go. Uh, well, in and out. There we go. Sorry about that. So the STC-1000 is the name of the product that I'm using. Um, and I'll show you some product manuals and things later on. Uh, but it's a little microcomputer that uh, can control both heating and cooling. Uh, but uh, for my aquarium, uh, it's tropical fish, we're only going to be looking at um, the heating side. I don't have an aquarium cooler or anything like that, so I don't really need that part of it. But uh, So it's in a little project box. I just popped the top off, and um, I haven't... Uh, got it all wired up so I won't be able to show you how I did it but I can walk you through it and um, uh, it's still a mess because I haven't secured all the wires down uh, and uh, which I'll do later uh, so first thing that you'll see um, is this is the back of the STC 1000 it's got little wire terminals uh, just like your uh, thermostat to your house would so works the same way uh, the back of my box um, I wired in an outlet which you can sort of see it's it's black but you can kind of see make out that's just a duplex outlet. I used a Decora style so it was easier to cut the hole. And then this is where power comes in. It's just an extension cord. Uh, see? Uh, 14 gauge, 3 wire conductor. Uh, but that's where that'll plug into the uh, my surge protector. And then the, um, I didn't say that, but the heater will actually plug into these outlet. well, this outlet here. So, uh, let's walk you through this real quick, but I'll also post a link to the wiring diagram that I found online, which was very helpful. Uh, but first thing you'll see is this is the end of the extension cord. I know it's a little bit dark in this box, but uh, I'll post, the, like I said, the link to the wiring diagram. But here's the power coming in, uh, the hot, the neutral, and the ground. Uh, so hot's black, neutral's white, and ground is green, just in case. Um, and what I've done is, for the hot coming in, uh, I've hooked it into a little fuse here. Uh, this is just a fuse holder. Uh, you can get these at auto shops or off eBay or uh, Amazon. And I'm going to pop it out for you just so you can see what I mean. Um, now the STC-1000 itself is capable of 10 amps, uh, but I'm just using, because I don't need that much for one little heater, so it's just a little uh, uh, standard car fuse. Um, sorry, it's camera is having a difficult time focusing, but I think you can see that well enough. Just a little 5 amp fuse um, that you'd pop into your car. So uh, put that back into the fuse holder here. Just snaps right back in. Pop the top back on. There we go. Uh, so power line uh, comes in, gets hooked in to this fuse here. There's a little wire nut. And then goes through the fuse. And then I have it into this wire nut right here. Uh, so the red line is from the fuse holder. And then there are two hot lines coming out. So one hot line goes to terminal one, which is the power supply in, and it's all labeled, you can see up here. Uh, power supply, the sensor, which I'll explain in a second. Sorry, it does that when I stick my finger in there, so I'm gonna stop pointing, but you see where I mean. Power supply, sensor, heating, and cooling are the um, four sets of uh, terminals. Um, it doesn't like when I stick my hand in the picture. Uh, so. There goes the top of the project box, so I'll try not to stick my hand in there so much because it keeps going out of focus. Um, but, uh, so, so I'm going to have to show you something. So then the other uh, power line goes to terminal 5, which is part of the heating uh, circuit. Uh, and then those just get screwed down. Uh, from the uh, power line in again, there is this neutral line, and it goes directly to the outlet that I've got wired into the back here. And sorry again, you can't really see that, but you just screw it down to one of the silver screws, uh, not the gold. The gold are for hot, just in case uh, anybody out there isn't sure how to wire an outlet. Um, but you should watch a YouTube video on that then before you attempt this. Um, so you wire one of the, from the power in, you go directly to one screw on the uh, neutral side of the outlet, and then take another neutral line, and go from that other screw 
to terminal 2, which is part of that uh, power line into the STC-1000. Uh, the next two terminals here are just for this sensor, and uh, this will just go right into the fish tank. It's still all coiled up. I haven't done anything with it yet, but that'll go into the fish tank to monitor the temperature. Uh, then, let's see where we are. Okay, so that was uh, neutral, that was the sensor. Um, now with the um, the ground, the ground is very easy. It just goes right from the power line in. There, see that? there's, there's that extension cord. And it goes right to the uh, ground screw on the outlet. Just gets screwed down, simple as that. Finally, and probably uh, most importantly, is uh, on the heating um, terminals here, uh, which is uh, terminal number six. Uh, I wish I had a red Cord here, but I only had black and, and white and green to work with. Uh, there's this one power line that comes out. It goes directly from uh, number six terminal to the hop of the outlet. Now, what that means is power now comes into the STC 1000. This temperature sensor is in your is in your fish tank. Uh, it tells this uh, microcomputer how hot or cold your fish tank is, and based on your settings, it will tell your uh, fish tank to, uh, it will tell the uh, microcomputer, excuse me, uh, to turn on or off power. And that one last outlet, uh, or that one last power line that goes from terminal 6 to the outlet uh, actually is the line that carries power to that outlet that will then power your heater on or off. And uh, depending on your set temperature, uh, it will uh, cut power or turn power onto your heater. That way, if the thermostat of your actual heater breaks, uh, you've got a backup. So, uh, that's this little project. Um, last couple things that I'll show you. And I'll get all these lines cleaned up before I actually uh, uh, put that box together. But let me show you a couple last packaging materials in case you're interested. Uh, so, again, just got this off uh, uh, Amazon and eBay, all these things. STC-1000. That's the microcomputer there. Uh, should be able to get it for under 20 bucks. That's a little box that came in. And again, see here, 110 volt version. That's important if you're in North America. Uh, you don't want to get the 220 or 240. And the project box is just a Radio Shack box. Uh, the dimension, in case you're interested, are 8 by 6 by 3. Though, again, if you look at my box, uh, there's a bunch of empty space in here, so you could get a smaller box and it would work just fine. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, send me a message, and I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions. Um, but like I said, I'll try to get some links posted. I uh, hope you liked my first video. Uh, next video I'm going to try to post is I'm currently working on building a dual-stage uh, stainless steel regulator, um, a Matheson 3810, if you're interested. And I'll try to post some videos as I build that thing uh, to put together my first high-tech tank. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you in more videos.